Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. And happy Canada Day. That's right, it is actually Canada Day, it is July 1st, and I'm recording this, and I'm gonna upload it today. I never like do same day uploads record. Um, so I just got done with some uh, Canada Day shenanigans, some really cool stuff that'll be coming up in the future. Um, I also got some donuts, Canada Day special donut, I'll also include that in this video. And because, um, you know, red and white for Canada, I have this, excuse my pronunciation, I think it's Fago. Fago, it's a Michigan-made soda I've only ever seen in Michigan, and so I think it's kind of like a Michigan exclusive, but this is a Diet Strawberry Fago. Um, I went with the this one, the Diet, it was the only Diet one, so a strawberry it is. Um, so it's a carbonated strawberry soda. I've never actually had a strawberry soda. Um, let's see if I can make the light a little better, maybe. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to chug this Fuego, Fuego, Fue, I want to say Fuego, but Fuego, um, and give it a chug. So. I haven't done a little soda chug in a while. I'll try to do this no burp, just for the hell of it. I did the soda water chug half recently, but that was like that was like a long. So it is carbonated. It doesn't like to be super super carbonated. I'm gonna try it first though. I've never tried it. Ooh, it smells very very fruity. Okay, no, it's very carbonated. Um, yeah, that's a very interesting strawberry flavor. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It kind of tastes like there's like strawberry hard candies that look like strawberries, like the wrappers are try to look like a strawberry. Kind of a very fake strawberry flavor, but anyway, let's give it a go. It's a beautiful day here. I'm really enjoying the sunshine because summer is very short in Canada. So uh, let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, for Badlands. Cap the camera. All right. I don't have a timer with me, but they'll obviously be one on screen. I might shotgun it. Uh, like, put a hole in the bottom. Make it easier. All right, so let's give it a go, guys. Happy Canada Day. Red, white, blah, blah, blah. I had way too much sugar today. <sighs> Wait, before I start. So, like, I got to put it up to my mouth. Like... So watch, I'm gonna put it up to my mouth. I'm not gonna stop start drinking until I put the hole in it though. But I can't put the hole in it like this because obviously it'll spill. So I will make a noise or mm hmm when I'm gonna start. All right, ready? Mm hmm. Holy pain. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurts. Anyway, everybody. Holy jumpets. Happy Canada Day. Oh man, that's so much pressure. I'll see if I can burp. Oh. oh, it's not coming. Hold on. Anyway, there's a few more in there, but you get the picture. Happy Canada Day, y'all. And it's Canada Day in Canada, which is our holiday, kind of like, uh, you know, our national holiday, kind of like July 4th or whatever. So... Tim Hortons has this like firework donut it's called. So it's basically just like a dipped uh, yeast donut, dipped being like icing, with these little popping candies on it. So I figured like I had to try one. I really like Pop Rocks, so. So it tastes just like a Tim Hortons vanilla dipped donut with some crunchy candies. There's not much pop rock action going on, just a little bit. 
don't know if you can hear that. Very, very little. Not as much as I would have thought. And I got her to take the one with the most popping candies on it. There's a little bit of a pop rock action, but still like barely any. Oh well, I had to try it. And then if you're not familiar with Tim Hortons, one of my also favorite Tim Hortons donuts that they have is this right here. A honey cooler, which is like a classic, but it's very like light flaky donut, lots of fat in it, lots of glaze. But as a cooler, it just falls apart. Very moist. Very delicious. My sugar is through the roof today. So I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. But anyway, at least I tried the firework donut. It was fine. Not a high rating. So, but I am going to see fireworks later, so I'm excited about that. So thanks, everybody. Until next time, you know what to do. So we're going to participate in the freezy contest, but they're going to give me two freezies instead of one. So, a little bit of handicap, but that's fine. I'm just in it for fun. For all the glory they can grab at being the official champion eater here. And um, also, five bucks. And you know, you really can't say more than five bucks is five bucks. What do you think, Joel? Any words of encouragement? I was told that I should compete in this. What do you guys think? Should I do it? Oh. <laughs> They're giving the professional a handicap. That's right. That he's got to, but what would you say, you know, sage advice? You've done this sort of thing, you know, at least a few minutes ago. So what do you gotta say to our contestant? You have at least ten seconds before brain freeze is at all gonna start. After that, I can't promise you anything. Okay. <laughs> We're wondering if we should invite the Chairman of Canada Day, Ian Thompson, to come into this. He's definitely 20. <laughs> because we know he's now over 20. And uh, Ian, it's, well, you know, this is the, uh, this will be the easiest thing you do all day. I hope so. <laughs> okay. All right, contestants, is everybody ready? Get set and go. Okay. They're serious. The quiet is set in. You know, it's amazing. With the little kids, everyone was cheering, but now you're so quiet. You want to encourage these guys, too? Whoa. One down. We have the competitive edge over here. That's why we gave him two. And, oh! It's a five-peat. When you can, tell us your name and where you're from. Sean from Caledonia. Sean from Caledonia. And all I can say, people, is if you ever invite him out to dinner, make sure he's paying. Okay, thank you to all of our contestants. Here you go, five bucks plus two passes to the Caledonia Fair. We'll see you at the pie eating contest. Thanks again to Joel for coming and sharing your, I'm not quite sure what to call this gift with us. But thank you anyways. We really appreciate it here putting Caledonia on the map.
Avenue Studio of Dance coming up next. Lots of stuff here today. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Canada Day in Caledonia. So I did the one, and then I got about halfway through the second one, and the other guy got it. So kudos to him. Uh, gentleman's won the last couple years, and he's a good freeze eater. Nothing wrong with that. So everybody, thanks for watching.